Hey everyone, Reptile Sam here. So I just got in the mail my FP Super 70 5 High Rack from Reptile Basics of Avarium Electronics Equipment. So I'm gonna assemble this, put it together, show you guys what I've got, and let's do a review. Let's get to it. Okay, here are the boxes. Came in looking pretty good. About to cut these bad boys open and get to building. Okay, so here we have some layers of the rack itself. Check these out. That's where the heat tape is gonna go on the bottom. Once it's assembled, really cool recess heating. I like that. That's where the temperature probe is gonna go. And then over here, we have the actual rack unit itself. Okay, so this is gonna look awesome. And it's kinda hard to picture it right now, but I'll show you guys when it's all done. I think you guys will really like this. All right, um, it's a day or two later, but Got some nice lighting in the room, so I wanted to show you all the finished VE Super 70 from Reptile Basics. Uh, they're a company based out of North Carolina. They make some really cool stuff, and they assemble and ship the VE products. So although I don't have a VE thermostat on here, I want to show you guys the finished product of my 5 High Super 70. Um, really cool rack. I do wish it came in something taller, like a 7 High or even an 8 or 11, but they are stackable as long as you get the same series unit. So uh, I do have an animal plastics one coming in in a few months, but we'll talk about that later um, when it comes in. So I've got three snakes in here right now. Uh, you can see I've got Cersei, Lydia, and Gandalf. And so these, a um, couple of these, like this is a Vision V70, but these down here are FB70s, so uh, the Freedom Breeder 70 series. And we've got these little stoppers in here. Not that anyone's gonna be able to, you know, push their way out, but. Um, they're there just to kind of give a small extra measure of security in your tank or in your shelf. So, uh, total assemble time was about three hours on this project. So you can see it looks awesome. Like you can see right in there, there's the heat tape. Installing the heat tape was the hardest part of this whole project. Um, it was a little bit hard to understand the instructions, but it's really cool. So it goes down in the back and it just goes on to each level and you can't really even see it from the outside, which is really nice. So once you figure it out, um, it's really cool. So you have to put it through the grooves in the bottom and then back in. And there's a recessed probe slot down there too. So really nothing's coming out the sides. And I will say I did have to shave a bit of the PVC off to get the, uh, the plug for the heat tape to come out right here. You see my, my fingers pointing. So I had to shave off some of the PVC on the side, on this side right here, to get that probe up into it. So here's my Inkbird thermostat. I, I really like the Inkbird uh, thermostat. So this one is not a Wi-Fi smart thermostat, um, but it was about 15 bucks cheaper not to get the Wi-Fi thermostat. So I got this set at 88 for my Pythons. It's currently at 86 and it's heating. I like these thermostats because you can set uh, heat and cool differential. So I've got it set at three degrees in each direction. So it'll range from 85 to 91. So it's kind of cool. If you want higher or lower, you can adjust that. Um, so compared to some other cheaper thermostats um, that you can't really put a range, I really like that these ink bird thermostats, you can put a range on your thermostats. So you see it just got to 88, it's heating up a little bit more, and then it will not go past 91 on the heat. Um, here is the plug. So the heat tape, is plugged into here. And uh, another thing you see everywhere, but I just want to reinforce, always use a thermostat. Never use a heating element without a thermostat. Um, and we have some aluminum tape. So you can see it right, sorry about that at camera angle. Um, this aluminum tape right here, you will need to buy some aluminum tape. It does not come with it. Um, I had some left over, left over from when I built my own rack right there. So aluminum tape you want to use to tape down your heat cables. And that'll be some stress relief on the cable. So that way you don't have to worry about um, it tugging or pooling and damaging the heating element or causing risk of fire hazard. So yeah, so that is the VE Super 70. Um, I got, f so five shelves in here. And so we got two empty ones. There's one empty one in my Vision V70 series. And here is my homemade one. Uh, it's pretty full. Cool. So that is my review of this rack. I hope you guys enjoyed this review. Let me know your thoughts and comments on the VE70 or other brands of racks that you guys use. And I look forward to making more videos. Make sure to go hit us up on Instagram at reptile.sam. Like and subscribe to our channel and check out our merch with a link in our bio. Thanks guys.